have you had to deal with labor politics in your career? And if so, what is the usual things that bring about those conflicts of interest? Oh yeah, many times. You know, like I said, I've been assigned since, you know, 14. So, um, <laughs> label politics is, is, well, first of all, I'll tell you, you know, like, economically, you know what I mean, things have changed so much that, you know, for me, it's been like a process, like, I'm a part of a record company, which was Sony at that time, and, you know, when I came in, it was certain bosses, you know, with certain people in position, so, you know, you deal, you build up a relationship, a strong relationship, you know, with your staff, and then it's like, everybody gets fired. And then you're like, damn, okay. And then they're bringing someone supposedly in, you know, that is supposed to know what they're doing. You know what I mean? But actually are put in the position to fend for their job too. And what I mean by that is, is when they come in, it's only, it's only so much that they can do because they're coming in a new position, they have to prove, unless it's someone that has a lot of history, you know, for known for, for working a certain way, you know what I mean? So after that, that um that boss or those bosses, you know, got fired, then it was like a new boss and it was like, okay, you know, we like this. You know, they understand where we're going, they believe in us. Anytime we have a problem, we can get on the phone, it's done. You know, album comes out, number one album, dope. They all get fired. You know what I mean? It's like the same process happens all over again. You know what I mean? And then you get some people in there that you might not feel as comfortable, you know, as comfortable with knowing where your goals are or understanding how we used to operate here. Like, start sound. They got the music, the damn cart going down, people back flipping down the, down the aisles and stuff. Y'all can see. Well, you, um, Baby screaming. Before this, has there ever been any time when you felt that you actually wanted to quit the music business? Um, yes. Yeah. You know, I feel like I feel like quitting all the time, you know. But I would imagine that's anything that's like that's that's in anything that you really want to become great in, you know what I mean? Like it's a lot of competition out here. You know, and it's a lot of uh, you know, other record companies that are competing, you know. But I think it's, it's a question you ask when you love something, you know what I mean? Like, and I really love this, I truly love this, you know, and, and I'm not meaning the politics side of it, or I'm not meaning, you know, any of the process that don't require, you know, some love. Like, I'm saying, like, you know, we spend, you know, roughly, like, you know, we might like get in the studio at, like, you know, 8, 9 p.m. and don't finish till 10 the next morning, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta really love you know, something in order to, you know, like, for instance, a lot of, you know, of me being a regular and normal person, you know, gets taken away, you know, like, say, if I want to go into John and, like, take a piss, somebody, you know, recognizes me, they want to have a full conversation with me while I'm taking a piss, you know what I mean, like, that's just not normal, you know, like, sometimes people feel like they know you, so they feel like they can approach you a certain way, you know, they feel like they can, I had to do, I was, the other night, you know, in, um, is it called Lester? The other night, yeah, the other night in Lester, you know, I walk, I literally got in the car and a fan came up to the car and opened my door. You know, like stuff for, stuff like that, you know, like for a regular person, like you would like get in a fight with her and be like, hey, you know, like what's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? But because... You know, I know he didn't have any ill intentions, you know, but he just felt like, hey, what's up? You know what I mean? And he opened my door, you know, so he ended up, you know, the security and everybody ended up, you know, being like, yo, you know what I mean? But it's stuff like that, like, you know, when you sign up for this, like, you don't think about giving away. You know, if I want to have a girlfriend or if I want to take her out on a date, you know, and I, I can't even, I don't have to like her that much, you know what I'm saying? I can just be reaching over to grab something and it might look like I'm grabbing her titty, you know what I'm saying? Like, just the wildest stuff, you know, that you have to deal with, you know, with being an entertainer sometimes. You know, the wrong, the wrong perception or Marion's cocky, you know, Marion's this or Marion's that, like, and you saying in one interview will never change it, you know? Like, your perception. Shit, you know, sometimes it is what people think of you. But the things that I do love having to be an artist is the is the the power of being able to stand on the stage and have a mic in my hand and 
you yeah. know, someone come up to me and say, you know, that song changed my life, or, you know, when you did that move, man, it made me feel like this, like, and that, and that to me was what the real jewel of being an entertainer is, and that's the ability to, you know, inspire people, you know, and that's, that's a whole nother, that's like a blessing, that's like a lot of people don't get that opportunity, you know, like it's, it's this one story, it's like a real interesting story, I was, um, I was on the radio, and, uh, this fan called in, and she was like, hey, what's up, Omar, um, you know, I'm so happy, you know, that I got to talk to you, and she was like, you know, a friend of mine, you know, passed away like a year, a year and a half ago, and, you know, he had an old name like yours, and, you know, all of my greatest memories was, you know, with your music, with him, you know, I think he had some type of disease or something like that, and she was like, you know, when he died, you know, we buried a picture of you with him, you know what I mean, and, like, I didn't really know how to take that, you know what I mean, and by this time, you know, she's crying, and she's like, I just want to thank you, you know, for, you know, creating the best memories with my friend, you know, and I feel like, you know, he's, he's better now, you know, like, you know, music is that powerful, you know, and uh, dancing and performing is that powerful, so, you know, I feel like, I feel like I, I, you know, I, I sacrifice what I can in order to, in order to help people, you know what I mean, and inspire people.